technical course, but you just explain. I just explained it with the two points, so I'm good for now. And also, okay. I'm not on the focus um, group. Okay, I'm, I'm I not sure. in that yet. Yes. I sure. Uh, let me just. That's for the community manager, right? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh, that's, how did you know about the meeting? That's really. Uh, I had a G. I asked because um, you know, you mentioned that there'll be uh, be a meeting on Tuesday, so I had to ask him since I didn't get any notification. Oh yeah, oh, I'm so sorry. I've added you now to the chat. All right. Same thanks. Okay. Um Zahid, how about you? Um yeah, so um uh I've been following and um I think um um it's all I'm all good for now. So um mm -hmm. also for the focus group, so I've been added, I think is it engineering or development? Development. Like yeah, because in the form I initially uh, wrote my name down on the uh, development team. Then I later changed it back to, to because technical writing, because um, I, I, I really want to like go into technical writing. So um, that's why okay. I changed back to technical writing. So I don't know if I can what, change. What's the name on the on the Slack group? Don't think I can find you with Zahid. Okay. Um, I think um, I think I use Zahid, or maybe try the has. Spell please. Uh, D, uh, double E H A Z. Oh, okay. I see. So I should add you to the technical right as well. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Because I'll, for I'll the development it. team, I think that most of the projects you said uh, the, in the last, um, in the other time meeting, you said are uh, mostly. I think the technology is Python and then. Uh, Python, yeah. Okay. All right. So that's what mostly I really want. Python. To... There are some. I think um, very recently um we will. I think the meeting for developers, I'm trying to make it tomorrow because there are some projects that are coming up that we might be using GitHub pages um, and then the Slack bot is with JavaScript. Mm -hmm. So that's also there. And you're also welcome to technical writing. There's also um, something that we'll discuss about technical writing, you know, building okay. up the chaos block. So that's so really I'll, nice. be, I'll be notified when there's a meeting for technical writers. Cool. Yes, I. If you check the channel, I just added. You know, there's like okay. a meeting on Friday. I'm just meeting okay. with all the focus groups this week. So, okay. yeah. yeah, great. So I see. So every for, at this moment, everybody's like, you know, up to speed. It's going to take some while, but okay. Um, I think the next point of this meeting is like, let's talk about um. So first, I think I overheard when um, Shiba was asking about, let me share the link to that, to the chaos mission itself, like Africa strategy doc. Let me share that link with everybody and even present my screen because that's, you know, what we are all going to be as community managers, we're all going to be looking at. Just give me a minute. Um, I have so many tabs every time and I get confused, which is which. Okay, I'm sending the doc right up. Um, so this is the document and you can join the document and this is the strategy doc. So why I'm sharing the strategy doc with this group is because like I said, this group is going to focus on sustaining the community. And I also need you all to, um, you know, uh, work with me on this, on these plans right here. So the first thing is, um, like I said, this is like the, why we brought up this community right and this is what we are focusing on i think i need to put this above this because this is the main thing uh let's see so now these are the this was when we said planning for chaos africa this is what i put up as a strategy initially to kind of like start things up so now this is this is our this is our um, focus now for the next for kind of like next three months. Um, 
you know before we we you know look forward to like many other things but this is our next our focus for the next three months and you know more emphasis on this like i said because people are still trying to get you know get understand what chaos is about so it's going to take some time so i want us to like you know focus solely on here so i think we are at this point now and what do you think that would help i think i'm throwing out the question how will we, um, you know, onboard, how we create a sustainable onboarding process, you know, to bring everybody, to help everybody understand what chaos is and, you know, gain their trust as well or know them personally, like, so that we can, because I believe um, that for you to, for people to make contributions, like sometimes you have to push them, you have to be there, you have to remind them. So how do we, how do we want to go about kind of like um, community onboarding the community members we have now, as of now? And um, how do we want to like, what process do we want to use? There's also the part where we get to measure our success. Um, we get to share our success as well. Um, and also how we work with the general chaos community. Usually, I usually give these updates during the community meetings, which is something I even want to say, you can always join the community, the general community meetings. It happens by 5 p.m. Tuesdays, every Tuesday is our time. So you can always mark your calendar for that to join the community meetings. So um, yeah, if you go through, this is just the first, um, I just jotted out the first Twitter announcement I made. But yeah, let's go back to this, um, how do we, what are your thoughts on onboarding? So, yeah. So, do you mean onboarding um, the people who already have? Yeah, people yeah. already have like, you know, getting them to understand. Like, how do we, and also we need to create a process because while we are learning with these people we already have, we know that people are coming in, we are going to apply that same process to them, like, you know, so that we have like a process in hand that this is what we are, this is how we do it. And every other person can, you know, every other person can follow through and also help other people when they understand. Like, you understand right now, you help this person get up to speed. This person is up to speed. This person understands one new person is coming. So it's everybody's doing something. Do you get me? So how do we um, kind of like do that? So if I if I understand, by onboarding, you mean um, getting people engaged, right? Because it's yeah. one thing to get people to join the community and it's another thing to actually get them to contribute. So that's exactly. what you mean by onboarding, right? Okay. Yeah. Right. so yeah engaging is um i think is a better word to engage um how do we get people to engage in the community i think these focus groups the first uh, meeting was yesterday i met with the designers and we we're able to kind of like discuss and i think somebody's trying to join shiba okay yeah, we're kind of, we're able to kind of like discuss on, you know, um, a project that we'll be moving forward with. So that, that has been the focus areas have been helpful. So how do we kind of engage people? How do we check in on people? Okay, so what are the what are the uh, obtainable process before now? Um, maybe uh, Shebuel was part of layer five, and uh, also I, I know we have some onboarding process in the general chaos uh, chaos community. Uh, how can we adapt that? And um, maybe uh, I'll say customize it to fit. Um, 
our kind of community uh, as far as uh, chaos Africa. Okay, um, Shiva, do you want to say something before I? Um... Okay. Um, you can hear me, Abi. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was trying to switch to um, PC so I can see this. Yeah. Okay. Um, I heard my name. So basically, I think while um in the layer five community, we had couple of things like um i think that was that was the newcomers meeting and i got to fear i got to learn that um i think ruth and anita actually you know made that possible to have that in that community so that um, new new persons can actually you know get started as fast as they can and you know get acquainted with everything that the community is about so if um just as IODG mentioned, sometimes we do not necessarily need to, you know, like set up new stuff. When we when we see certain things that are working and we try to adapt them to this community, we, we try to see if it can work in this community and then adapt them to this community. I think that would make us move faster instead of, you know, trying to sorry instead of trying to create like a whole new kind of strategy and become geniuses so one thing that worked in layer five community and i think it's i believe it's still working is the newcomers meeting which actually gets persons you know acquainted with everything that has to do with the community and so one way we can adapt that to our community is first of all just as um roots mentioned First of all, you know, um, getting we ourselves acquainted because if we're being honest, uh, roots. If you're being honest with yourself, you cannot do the whole onboarding yourself. You have so much work already. So we ourselves need to get acquainted. Just as you said, we're much more like what I say on the coordinating committee of this community. And so we ourselves need to be so much acquainted. I don't know if any of us has taken our time to look at the you know, chaos handbook. So we ourselves need to take our time to get acquainted with this community, the whole initiative and all of that. So that if this um, initiative, like um, the newcomers call is being set up, you no, know, maybe certain persons can be can maybe AY can take the design community and get persons onboarded in that um, area, not root onboarding everyone, and then maybe blessing takes a particular section of the community and gets them onboarded in their own area and all of that. So because she's acquainted with every of that um, every of the process, so we need to create something like that. Look at like that newcomers meeting and see. If it can work here, then let's adapt it to work here. And I think it would move faster. Okay, thank you, Shibel. That's like really great. Um, does any other person want to consult that one? Add something else? Yeah, I, I don't know you. I saw, saw you see you writing something uh, the pair to pair mentorship. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually one of the things I wanted to maybe mention the the system whereby you have two people um, paired together and they are sort of um, they are sort of responsible for each other. So um, you this one means. This one is not available for today's meeting. It's actually the person you know the person to ask. So I think if we're uh, accountable for each other that way, um, it would help a lot. So and just like you mentioned, the the handbook she will mention is very important. The community managers have to know the handbook from front to back and actually understand what is what it entails, what every project there talks about. So at least when you're onboarding, because um, we are like the focus point, the more like the face of the community 
Um, do you, anybody that has any questions will come to the community managers. Anybody that has anything to say, that have anything to contribute to come to the community managers, even up to the point of, um, in the aspect of whereby we have a bridge in code of conduct and all that, the community managers will be the first point of contact. So we ought to be aware of these things. We need to know these things, fully, fully aware of these things so um, we can um, properly guide um, the members of the community. So maybe first we need to do as community managers is have a, maybe a curated list of resources for ourselves to, to go through. And maybe we'll have a deadline that, okay, all the CMs should go through um, this curated um, document so as to get acquainted with, acquainted with the community. Then, um, yeah, so then of course, carry out, carry out our, the strategies um, which of course include the new newcomer, the peer-to-peer -peer, um, mentorship and every other strategies we are going to come up with. Okay, that's um, that's really great. Does any other person have something to say before I continue? Sorry, I like documenting things a lot. <laughs> um, I think Zahid is still here or Joma. Yeah, actually I'm here. And most of the previous speakers have already uh, talked about right, what I wanted to say. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't have anything to add again. Okay, thank you Zahid. Well, let's know about you. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to create a new document so we'll kind of like um, track a lot of things um, we discuss in these meetings. Um, let me just create that as well and share it for everyone. Um, um, hold on a sec. So we are like at this point, all these documents are here. Okay, so um, let me share this link as well first. So, okay, you're currently in noise. Oh, oh my God, I just said the wrong thing. Okay, that's the meeting link. Um, that's the meeting link. So yeah, all these points you you raised, they are like really, really very valid and I totally agree. So um, I also put, there's something I also put here, which is, um, come in just give me a minute. The count yeah, Exactly. So during, um, I, I'm part of those persons, I'm part of the host for GitHub Africa. And we do a lot of cloud games and it's always my favorite part of hosting that because it's always very interactive. So, um, you know, while we want to, while people are trying to contribute, we also get want to get to know them. So that's why I put this, maybe we could do a monthly um, happy hour and we just play Kahoot games and people just get to know each other, we just play a game. You know, we also put in questions related to chaos there. It's also something educative where we get to know each other and, you know, just familiarize with each other first, because I, I feel that um, I want to also know the community members personally, so that I know their their strengths and know where I could help whenever they are. So this, this was just a thought I just thought about. Now on the, what do you guys like? What, what does everyone think, Corda? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. and. Uh, I don't know, but I, I think everybody loves games. And what one thing, one thing that um, happened in one particular, like where I was, um, there was this. Uh, this is the game by um, um, game nights. So yeah, game nights. So those were like I'm not saying that could be adapted here, but I'm I'm just saying fun things like that, like 
games like this, or game nights like this can actually create this kind of bonding and people always want to come here because they feel it's not just about, you know, coming here to contribute, but there's this relationship that they have with the community and they feel much more relaxed. And I think that creates sort of like a better onboarding and community processes. Okay, thank you, Shiba. So I think I think we have we have a list here, like a list we can follow through with. About the community meetings, we do have chaos newcomer office hours actually. Um, we do have them um, every Tuesday by 3 p.m. So maybe something I want to, you know, say out in Chaos Africa that, okay, we have office hours, newcomer office hours uh, by 2 p.m. If you want to, uh, me and Elizabeth usually host that. Um, we're usually the people that are like always there. So I would also maybe mention that in Chaos Africa that anybody can hop in if they have any question. So we do have those new, it's not It's not really like Shiba, it's not really like the way layer five on is run, you know, with layer five, um, which is the community that Shiba talked about. Uh, what we used to do, um, you know, when I used to host them as well, personally, we used to like run through, it's like a presentation, we run through everything about chaos, um, about layer five and people ask questions, people bring their issues. But for Chaos Newcomer Office Hours, we are just there to answer questions. You just come in, you ask your question. If you have any question, you ask your question, you leave, you come in, like you get, um, you must not stay throughout the whole hour. We are just there to answer questions. So that's why it's like office hours, ask me anything kind of setting. So that's what we do. Um, so I, I should mention this. I should put it up in Chaos Africa. Or does anybody want to take the action item? Uh, does anybody want to take it up? Okay, so if you like, uh, um, I don't know. You've not still figured out the Slack thing about you know notifying the as the uh, uh, channels. Um, I feel it's easy to miss out a lot of information. If uh, I don't know, I think it has to do with rights. I think that's to do with rights. Maybe uh, they had to maybe go to the admin settings to allow you to at least call. Um, uh, yeah, at I think that I'm here about, uh, at uh, channel. Okay. So that okay. Um, everybody's okay. attention in that channel will be pink, like we we like drawn to the to that particular um that message. So that would be easy because um this information is something we can just pass and once and everybody will be notified. Okay. Um I think I'll do this. I'll try to do this. And who does anyone want to take this off? So that when I do this, um, I'll let that person know and the person can put it off. And just to put up a message and inform people about the newcomer office hours that happens on Tuesday. This is the normal Zoom link. For Sorry, Ruth, are you asking if um, anyone wants to take up making yeah, the announcement? Yeah, making them out. Okay, yeah, sure, I can do that. Oh, oh, blessing wants to do that. Okay, so blessing. Um, what's your email address? Can you put it in the chat? Um, can you put your email address in the chat? So yeah, you can just um so I could I don't know, did I not give access to this file? No, we think um I did. Okay. So yeah, um if you just finish you can just clear this off. 
um this is for me let's see okay so when when i'm done with these tags i'll kind of like let you know blessing so you can put in the message okay so um about this part now um getting you like kind of acquainted with chaos do we want to do we want to how do you want do we want to do like a a crash session <laughs> and then i'll let you all like give you time to also get acquainted how do you want to do this So I don't know if there is a document, right? So I think um yeah, the yeah. So it for now, we are even updating this community handbook. So this um okay. we're working on the sort project to update this, but for the meantime, you can use this as a go-to document. For the meantime, although some things are like updated, there are some things that. We still need to update for the but for the meantime you can use this. Um, the community handbook is a resource. The one resource. Um, The website is another resource. So there are like a lot of things. Um, the community. There's another resource as well that you could use to get acquainted. Um, you can always ask with down stuff anything. Then, what do you think about like a particular meeting where I get to, like to like a crash, <laughs> literally a crash course? Yeah, I think I think that one will, will also help. Yeah. Yeah, that would help. Um, maybe. Breeze through, breeze through the, the, the handbook and some other vital information. Okay, um, a crash session on chaos. Okay, that's great. So do we want to do this next week, same time, like 1 p.m.? Or when do we want to, so that at least you have time to go through the handbook yourself and... What time works for us? One p.m. is fine, my end. Yeah, yeah, same time is fine. Okay, um, so we are doing Yeah, this. so this bit is for community managers? Yes. Okay, I, I mean, this one that's currently going on. Yeah, this current meeting is going to be the time for us to meet as community managers and talk. Okay, okay. So I'm, I'm a part of the community managers group. Oh, okay, 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 that's fine. Yeah, actually, so, I think I, I just saw the link uh, on the Slack, so I decided to jump in. And... Oh, okay, okay. If you want to be part of it, it's also fine to. Okay. Yeah, welcome to be part. See, you can always participate. So this time is, this time works, okay. Um. Okay, so I think, we, we we have really done a lot today. Um, you know, we can talk about this peer-to-peer -peer mentorship and this other part later on. But something I also want to put us in mind with is even by the end of the year, um, we are looking at okay, doing like a physical session as well, a physical event or a end of the year get together thingy and we kind of like have funds to cover for that. Um, I can always reach out to like the chaos general community to like kind of cover for, you know, a space, um, you know, different things. And we are currently, um, uh, I think there's a meeting happening soon. 
but yeah um we are currently um we are currently doing the a chaos africa logo which is something i'll update y'all later on um hi ash i think there's a meeting going on now right for there's a meeting now for this time okay yeah um, it's the uh, gsoc knowledge base uh, meeting but okay great i'm going to <laughs> we are almost done here We're already done. Uh, no issues i guess we can wait until kevin joins okay no problem so thank you everybody for kind of like you know being out keep everyone updated as well with what we are doing um yes this is the chaos africa group so that's what we have been talking about um, oh three yeah so um yeah i'll just stop the recording um where do this stop it well, I think I have to end the meeting to stop the recording. So I think bye everyone. I'll update everyone on the channel. Yeah, she can join in in two minutes, I think. Yeah, I just saw that the meeting isn't mentioned in the calendar, the GSOC one, but I hope okay. it's happening. Okay, okay, no problem. Join in and see if Kevin joins in. Okay, I think Kevin will have to start the meeting there. Yeah, Kevin normally right. does that. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Um, Ruth, so, sorry, Ruth. Um, when do we get to speak, you and I? Okay. Yeah. You you can connect like with my own Zoom link later. Okay. No problem. No worries. Send me link, please. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you.